Rocketdyne's liquid propellant rocket engines have shown outstanding reliability in support of the national military and civilian aerospace programs. One for the Saturn V vehicle, Rocketdyne has developed two propulsion systems, a high thrust kerosene fueled engine and a high energy hydrogen fueled engine. The first stage of the moon rocket is powered by five F1 liquid propellant oxygen kerosene rocket engines. Each F1 produces more than 1,500,000 pounds of thrust and in a cluster of five will give more than 7,500,000 pounds of thrust to lift the 300 ton Saturn V off the Earth's surface. The F1 is the highest thrust liquid propellant engine ever developed. The second stage of the Saturn V vehicle is powered by five of Rocketdyne's J2 engines which together produce 1,150,000 pounds of thrust. The, J the third stage of the Saturn V vehicle is powered by a single J2 rocket engine, which is identical to the ones used in the second stage cluster. Multiple these shots, taken from a camera mounted on the first stage of the upgraded Saturn I vehicle, show the first two stages as they separate and the altitude ignition of the J2 engine. Notice the extreme stability of the vehicle during and after separation, as the second stage and J2 engine are viewed directly through the top of the first stage. The nozzles used to control and direct the flow of gases from the rocket engine scene have been generally of the efficient bell-shaped designs. In recent years, rocket engineers have concentrated on reducing the nozzle length while retaining or improving the nozzle efficiency. The evolution of nozzle design has advanced to a configuration known as the aerodynamic nozzle. The obvious difference between the conventional bell and the aerodynamic nozzle is the fact that the bell design controls the primary flow of gases by a physical contoured chamber wall, while the advanced nozzle primary flow is controlled at the outer wall by atmospheric pressure and acts on an inner wall producing the thrust force. Secondary flow is introduced through the center of the annulus of the aerodynamic nozzle, increasing the base pressure and adding to the efficiency of the nozzle. Nozzle length is materially reduced. To match the unique shape of the aerodynamic nozzle, an annular toroidal shaped combustion chamber was developed. High area ratio bell nozzles typically have a performance curve that drops in value at the lower end of the altitude or pressure ratio spectrum. Multi-chamber annular nozzle configurations can improve the efficiency values. But by combining the aerospike's altitude compensation characteristic with the advantage gained by the use of secondary flow, an even higher performing nozzle is attained. The shorter length aerospike gives packaging advantages as compared to a bell chamber shorter interstage structure plus vehicle length savings which can be traded for longer propellant tanks. Small size designs that are derived from many years of research and development in the production of liquid propellant engines. Engines of outstanding reliability, high performance, versatility and long life. These then are Rocketdyne's liquid propellant rocket engines of today and tomorrow. The F-1, the highest thrust engine today. The J-2, the most powerful hydrogen fueled engine in current use. And the Aerospike, the high performance, simplified, lightweight rocket engine of the future. Man